Hi friends, my name is Vivek Sharma. I am senior director at Crystal. Happy to be part of Min Conversation of Renewable Energy Growth Story. Now we all know that Indian renewable energy has seen a substantial growth during the last decade or so, especially during the last five years when solar capacity addition is almost 10 times what was there five years ago. However, if you see last 12 to 18 months, you will see a bit of slowdown in the entire renewable energy growth story. Now let's look at what are the reasons behind it. So we'll go one by one. So one, the big reason if you see during the last 12 to 18 months is either the bids are undescribed or bids are cancelled or there has been almost no response of, to the tenders. Now wh what are the reasons behind lukewarm response by the investors? So there are plethora. So one first is that there is inbuilt tariff cap or expectation by the authorities who are procuring. Uh, for example, the most recent was in NTPC where there were price cap of 294 that was expectation and earlier it was in fact lower than that. So there is a uh, you know perception about a certain tariff expectation which investors think will not be able to meet that and tariff might be required a little more uh, in that case. Second, um, there is a physical requirement for setting up this project and that is hinging on uh, land as well as transmission. Most of these tenders do have uh, a requirement in terms of that they will support in terms of land as well as transmission capacity in that region. However, if you see the past experience in various SECI bids which has happened, a lot of projects are still struggling on account of acquisition of land or transmission capacity. So that's the second risk which they see in these tenders. Third, uh, which is most recent one, is that we are seeing uh, you know payment delays happening from the distribution entities. Crystal estimate says that if there is a delay by six months uh, to an IPP, uh, it almost hits the equity RR by 200 basis point. So that's a risk. Um, unfortunately, the procuring entity is the distrib monopoly distribution entities whose financial health is a, is a matter of concern. Uh, so that's the third one. The fourth, which you will see more, uh, again, the most uh, recent one, even though the contracts are in force, there is a fear that it might get re renegotiated. We have seen what's happening in state of Andhra Pradesh, even though this very rightly state government of India is trying to intervene and see it does not happen, but there is a tremors of that is felt in the entire sectors as well as investor and lender community. So these are the four reasons which we, you, you know, because of that, largely you'll see a lukewarm response in, in, in this uh, capacity edition. Now, what could be potentially done? I think even though we one we need to have very robust contracts in place which have a better risk sharing and those should be implementable right or unfortunately even if there's a contract and there's a risk whether this will get implemented in letter and spirit will be a matter of concern because otherwise you'll go to the higher courts and later courts and that will the delay itself will be significant which can impact the investment investor sentiments um, second within the contracts I think the time has come we need to look at uh, term ahead market option for IPPs in case the distribution entity is not buying power or are not paying on time. So we need to find a mechanism which allows the IPP to sell it in open access uh, without any cross subsidy surcharge and TAM market in exchange which will help them to create another set of market uh, in case the distribution entity is not procuring from them. These are the few low hanging ones which we can do but there are larger issues which I still need to be addressed in the distribution sector side as well as the regulatory side which need to adopt this tariff which has come through the competitive bidding as quickly as possible. Lastly, I think from the authority perspective, I, we would suggest that we need to come out from this cap tariff cap mechanism and just let the market decide what is the right price uh, which the investors and ultimately the lenders will accept as a viable project. Thank you very much.